giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from Tanager Place, we've got Joan Hackbarth. Joan, welcome. Thank you. So when I saw this this year, I was very surprised. 140 years mm -hmm. you're celebrating in 2020. That's amazing. Tell us about just how Tanager Place started and how sure. it came to be. Sure. So something to be so very proud of here in Cedar Rapids area or southeastern Iowa is that the community believes in the future of kids. And 140 years ago, 12 women were sitting around their table. And I'm going to give you a locale. Near Coe College was where the original organization began, but 12 women were sitting around and they noticed in the neighborhood children who were falling through the cracks, who weren't attending school, who were just maybe not advancing the way they felt could be a positive in, into their future. So they started what was then an industrial school. And to this day, the same care for disadvantaged children, the same hope for the future of children maintains itself in Tanager Place and the services we provide. And so one, now, 140 years you're celebrating. Right. So we do have a gala we have to talk about. Yes. Um, tell us where that is when, mm -hmm. and then of course, um, what you're highlighting in sure. this celebration. Sure, so we didn't think this milestone should be passed by, <laughs> and we are going to celebrate the community and the history of 140 years with a decades party. The event is March 28th, and uh, that is a Saturday. We're going to start at 6 o'clock in the evening with an amazing hour of fun because we're going to look at memorabilia. We're going to remember things through, think classic cars from Duffy's Classic Cars. We're going to taste some foods, maybe some fondue. I've been told Elvis may be present uh, for a debut, if you will. But we're going to relive some of the decades with um, some of that fun and then uh, gather for the 2000s with a very wonderful meal um, prepared by Popoli and then we're going to have a pretty emotive uh, program presented with storylines from people who had used Tanager Place services over the years and uh, some a musical rendition if you will that depicts the storyline and brings us all together in the hopes of creating opportunity for kids in the future. We'll talk a little bit more about details in a moment. Let's talk about that. It's like looking through a memory book, yes. correct? Yes. Tell us about what it's been like to get and prepare for this celebration. Sure, so I have an amazing committee who are not only creative, but hard workers. And uh, we've put together what we think is a wonderful evening. But the other aspect of it is to gain the storyline, to try to tell the story of Camp Tanager, which began in 1926 to talk about the way that we started to hone in on mental and behavioral health through group homes. Um, there were wars that had been a part of our history, times when people didn't have the resources in their homes to care for their kids, and they brought the children to what was then called the children's home, but is now Tanninger Place. Uh, name change. Tanninger Place became Tanninger Place in the 1990s, named after our logo, which is a scarlet Tanninger bird. And the reason that name was made known was the entry was that the Scarlet Tanager bird was sighted on our inpatient campus in southwest Cedar Rapids, migrating through, which is its typical pattern. And uh, they hoped that the children we served would migrate through strong and beautiful, just like the Scarlet Tanager bird. You have had a, a obviously long history. Tell yes. us about some of the highlights, I guess you could say, through sure. the years, through the decades. Yeah, so I mentioned Camp Tanninger, be beginning, if you will, for 1926. That's the Gazette and public health nurses that brought uh, a reason for kids to really enjoy and focus on their health and um, that was what Camp Good Health began, now Camp Tanninger. It still serves hundreds of at-risk kids um, during the summer for overnight camp and then offers day camp as well. Um, there's some other avenues of growth, more recent if you will. Um, I mentioned that we focused in on mental and behavioral health in the 60s and as we move towards the 2000, our growth really 
became fine-tuned. We opened up an outpatient clinic that was extremely important to the growth and access of care for kids. That was in 2003, so not that long ago, if you will. But then in 2014, because the need was so large, we successfully completed a $6.5 million campaign that bought a new building and created our downtown location on Fifth Avenue, um, our outpatient behavioral health clinic. And then just to encompass what we try to do, we try to meet the kids where they're at. So there's school-based um, contracts currently. We're in 44 schools in seven different districts around the area. We're also in people's homes trying to help families with interventions and creative ways of helping them bridge the gap and need, if you will, for behavioral and mental health, a mental wellness, if you will. So anyway, currently, um, we're able to access care for over 4,000 children in a given year. And our most recent expansion, as far as expansion goes, was just a year ago, we opened a satellite center in Johnson County. Amazing. Yeah. Really big impact for this community, for sure. Thank you. So this event is coming up. Let's talk about that. Sure. The day, of course, we said men uh, mentioned Saturday, March 28th. Yes. Talk to us about um, who you would hope to come and celebrate with you and, yeah. and tickets and how much they cost, how they can get those. Of course. So we're hoping that this is a true community event. Everyone is welcome, no matter what. If you enjoy a little bit of history, you enjoy some fun, you want to make a difference, Every the proceeds all benefit Tanager Place and the programs that we provide. The tickets are $100. That includes um, your open bar for the evening as well as your dinner and entertainment uh, as well, uh, we anticipate about 300 people in attendance it's located at the epic event center which is out on county home road uh, and i'm going to give you a locale near tuma soccer field um, the event starts at six o'clock with a full cocktail hour and the fun that I had mentioned, <laughs> and then our program follows. And let's talk about too, even just this last, let's say, uh, decade, if sure. you will, and just how you are really trying to hone your services to yes. really, like you said, meet the kids as to where they are. That's right. So some of the biggest growth that we found is not only our focus on kids, but the ability to really bring in the whole family. That's really been a part of our care always, but I do want people to know that that's been a big part of our growth, and one of the newer entities that will be kicked off yet this spring is our Training and Education Institute. And I bring in the whole family because I see a family that surrounds a child is as the community at large, and the Training and Education Institute is appropriate for our work worlds, it's appropriate for our family life, and it's appropriate for our community as a as a whole and we have some uh, documentaries coming up um, the next one is going to be in May that's a free um, opportunity to learn more about mental wellness we also have a podcast that will be kicked off here this spring again sharing tips and that kind of thing and this is a new entity for us for not only marketing but to bring in awareness and access to good resiliency and mental health let's talk about services again Obviously, mm -hmm. attend your gala is point Please. number one, yes, but if they needed your services or just wanted to learn a little yeah. bit more, tell us how easy it is to connect. It's super simple, tanagerplace.org. Uh, again, tanagerplace.org is the website or a giving us a call, 365-9164. will bring any kind of resource that a family may need. We have specialization all the way from autism services to um, assessments of other kinds. We have kids who are struggling in school or they're struggling to have their behaviors become something that will help them advance into the future. We're there for everyone, so please give us a call. And it uh, services are provided for anyone in the community, correct? That's very true. Head to their website for more information, and yes. of course, final uh, call out for tickets, how do they get those? And just go online, tanagerplace.org. Right. Make it so easy. Joan, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.